so in this video we're going to learn about message compression but before we do that I'm going to just explain why there's so much uh, talking and not as much coding in this actual series so far. It's because DNS is actually incredibly complicated and if it wasn't for all this intro into the series it would be extremely difficult to follow along because it gets quite low level because we end up working with single bits and stuff like that so it actually helps a lot if we go over this sort of stuff first. If I look here, this is the actual prototype that I created for the series before it. You can see it's quite long. Here, for example, when we try to create the opcode, we're using uh, Python's bit shift operators to shift single bits around and things like that, which is the reason why I've spent so long on the sort of intro to this series, because it gets quite complicated and it wouldn't make any sense otherwise. So here we're going on to message compression. Message compression is just used to reduce the amount of bandwidth that a DNS request takes. And I'm going to show you an example of that now. If I send a DNS request using DEG again, I'm going to run my prototype server. So the DNS server is running now. This is the one that can actually respond to queries. And I'm going to hit enter. There's the query we sent. There's the response we got. So you can see these are the three records it sent back. And they correspond with the zone file the DNS server loaded whenever it uh, booted up. But that's not why I showed it to you. I showed it to you because if we go to Wireshark, it's still capturing packets. Here's the query from DIG and here's the response it got back from our server. And as you can see, it was 109 bytes long. It was under the 512 byte limit. So here's where I'm going to show you compression. Here is the word high code. It's encoded. Uh, the way it's encoded is here's the length, which is seven characters. And that is high code, H-O-W-C-O-D-E. Then it has, where normally you would find a dot, it is the length of the next part, which is three, and that is O-R-G. And then it has a zero, which just means the end of the domain name. But you can see that is the actual word high code encoded in binary, or in this case encoded in hexadecimal. And if we go down here to the answer, it says highcode.org as well. But you can see it only takes up two bytes in the response. Whereas in the question, it uses the actual word high code. The reason for that is because DNS compresses the answers to save bandwidth. So this probably doesn't make any sense in the minute, but you can see there is compression taking place. That's why it only takes two bytes to send the answer. If I scroll down here, there's highcode.org again, and it takes another two bytes, and they're the same in fact. So this C00C is actually what we're looking at here. And it'll make more sense if we just right click and convert this into bits. And if we just click on the name high code, you can see here is the actual bits that we're looking at. If we read this paragraph, it says the first two bits are ones. So the first two bits are ones, so we can ignore those. The offset is what we actually care about. So if we go back to Wireshark and we look here, those, there's the two ones, and then we have a load of zeros, and then we have more zeros, and then we have one, one, zero, zero. So if I just type this into a hexadecimal converter, one, one, zero, 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 which is the first byte. Then we have, uh, if we go back, we have four zeros, two ones, and two zeros. So zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero. If I convert that now, you can see we get some random decimal number that means absolutely nothing. That's because we've included the first two bits. So if I delete those, and now we only have the offset, which is if we look at it here, this is the offset. This is what we actually care about. This is where the compression is stored. So if I just convert this now, you can see it says 12. And in the last video, uh, I mentioned that the DNS header is 12 bytes long. You can see this is the DNS header and it's 12 bytes long. That'll make even more sense if we go back to Wireshark and we see additional RRs. That's the end of the DNS header. That is the 12th byte. And I'll just convert this back into hexadecimal to make it easier to read. So this is the 12th byte. And if we look here, the 13th byte is the word haiku.org with its size prepended to the front of it. So essentially what our compression is doing is it's saying go to the top of a request, which is up here at the transaction ID, go 12 bytes down, which will bring you to additional resource records. And then that means the next byte is the word haiku.org, which is the word we're trying to compress. It looks like nothing C00C, but when we convert it to binary and we take away the first two bits and we're left with just the offset, it makes sense, it's 12. And that means that haiku.org, the first occurrence of it is 12 bytes from the start of the request. And the reason we need to know that is because whenever we want to send a response from our server to the user, we need to understand how to build a, a DNS response. And that means we're going to need to understand how to use DNS compression. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favor, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. And in the next part, I promise we'll actually be doing some actual code. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.